It's Friday night and two of my favorite shows are back on after their winter break. I am so excited. Hello my lovely babies, welcome back. Today's video is all about the Kanger Tech Subvod Starter Kit. So today I am taking a look at the Subvod kit by Kanger Tech. This is how it comes and look, my first purple mod. I'm so excited. Well, this is not really a mod, it's like a battery, but I am so freaking stoked. It looks so beautiful. So this is Kanger Tech's starter kit. It is a tube style. It is pretty much recommended for beginners and I'm really excited to take a look at it. Now you can get this kit from around, you know, 40 to $45, maybe even a little less depending on where you shop. I'll link below to a website that sells it for $38.95, I believe, and has free shipping. So let's take a look at what it comes with and the kit just slides out like so. Oh, thought it would be easy, <laughs> easier. Ooh, oh, it's got a matching USB cord. Okay, so left in the box, by accident probably, we have the user's manual, an authenticity card, and what is that? And a guide for the new coils like when filling a new tank. So it is a super simple kit. You have the tank and the battery here, the micro USB charger, and an extra Pyrex glass body for this tank. Oh my god, I am loving this purple though. It is so beautiful. So here is the pretty battery. We have the Subbod. It is a tube style battery. Here is the micro USB charge port on the bottom. This is a 1300 milliamp hour battery with the Nano S tank, which is a top fill tank. So make sure when you're taking it off that you're not actually taking the entire top off, but you're just taking off this little part up here to fill it and fill it like that and this drip tip is removable in case you want to change it out with your own but why would you it matches the tank has slotted adjustable airflow holes on either side here is the fire button and it flashes to turn on Ooh, so pretty <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm easily amused and this is an absolutely beautiful purple color. I am loving it. The coils in here are stainless steel organic cotton coils and they are 0.5. The one I have in here is 0.5 and it's the newer Kanger Tech coils like the ones that come in the Mi Box. So they're great for 15 to 60 watts depending on how you like to vape. I vape mine personally at 30 watts but this is not an adjustable device which makes it great for beginners. You know the Ego style batteries are really popular for beginners and this is just like a step up from the Ego styles that were back in the day. I mean I even used one. I still have like three or four of my old Ego style batteries batteries just for you know like nostalgic feels but um this one is definitely better than those ones and this is a 3.2 milliliter tank and I I just cannot get over how pretty it is so I'm gonna go ahead and fill it up and I'm going to be filling it up with culture vapors tagged flavor it is so good mm, smells so freaking good I love it I did a review for the culture vapor earlier this week and this is a pass-through device so you can vape it while it's charging it also has short circuit protection and a 10 second cutoff feature so while that's wicking up can we just take a moment to appreciate the beautiful color that this is we have kanger tech down here and also on the top up in the tank up here some mod i just oh my god I love this and this is perfect for somebody who isn't into the box mod type things like for a beginner and really when I'm helping somebody like in real life personally switch from smoking to vaping I don't normally recommend a box mod and I don't normally recommend sub ohm vaping I mean it's kind of the norm now so it's not that big of a deal but I usually tend to recommend tube style batteries because box mods are not like cigarettes at all and I feel like this is a necessary step some people are able to switch automatically to a box mod sub ohm vaping and then like next week we're building but a lot of people a lot of smokers especially the ones that I know aren't into that and are turned off by that and so I always go with the tried and true ego style vape because that's just 
it's just more like a cigarette. And even further still, I'd recommend something even smaller like a Sigalike, like a Halo or a V2 or a Mig Sig. Those ones, even first, like, those are what I would recommend from the very start to anybody. And those work for a lot of people, but the biggest issue with those is battery life since they are so small, they don't last very long. And then, you know, so I feel like an Ego or a Sigalike is a great starter place for people. Now, this is a 0.5 ohm coil, but the Kanger coils come in all ranges of different coils. There's Clapton's, there's Nickel, there's Titanium, there's Above Ohm, you know, Standard Ohm, there's Sub Ohm. So you don't have to vape this with a Sub Ohm coil. You can use a regular coil. So I'm really excited to try this. I did really enjoy the Sub Boxes and the Sub Box Nano. I actually have my Pink Nano right there. It goes great for my background, but I really wanted to show this because I like to get back to the root of my channel, which is helping smokers make the switch, and I've been reviewing a lot of TC devices, a lot of high wattage, and not beginner devices, so I wanted to give this a chance, and it is just so beautiful. Like, you cannot deny, this is gorgeous. And I really liked Inakin's version of an Ego Style starter kit, which was the Endura T18. I still use it, and I love it, and I've been trying to push it on my mom to get her to use it, um, but this one has the difference between that and this one is this one has airflow just ability on the tank. So even though even though they're both geared towards beginners and the Endura has the tight draw which is mouth to lung which is most like smoking, I like that this one has the option to have that tight airflow if you want, but it also has the option to open up the airflow for somebody like me who likes a lot of airflow. So I'm really excited to use this. It's so beautiful and I'm definitely going to continue to use it on my own. Whether or not you guys want to see a one month update, but if you do, let me know and I can definitely make a video for that. I probably won't make an update video for this just because it's not completely new. The newest things about it are the coil, which I've already reviewed, you know, using it in my knee box and the fact that it has a top fill design now, which is, you know, it's not not like so incredible that it needs a one month update just for those certain aspects of it but like I said if you want it I will definitely do it I just need enough requests to make that video I'm definitely gonna still use this because it's just so, it's just so beautiful I want to see how the paint holds up to on it the finish Ooh, maybe I could do a comparison of the Endura T18 and this one what do you guys think would you like to see that comment below all right let's give her a vape shall we Loving it with the full airflow, but I'll go ahead and turn it down because I know that if this is geared towards beginners, then beginners probably want a tighter draw, mouth swelling, so I'll go ahead, but I'm not going to cut it off completely because that, you can't vape that way. You can't vape with these airflow devices. Well, maybe you can. Let me see. No, no, nobody's going to vape that way. No one's going to vape with airflow all the way off, so I'm going to have like the tiniest little, like try to mimic the Endura T18. That's definitely more a mouth to lung, not the way I like to vape, so I'm going to open the airflow back up. Oh, this flavor is so good, though. And because this is a sub-ohm coil in here, it is going to produce more vapor than the Endura T18 because the one that I got was not a sub-ohm coil but you can put sub ohm coils in that one. It's definitely performing well for my first look review. I really do enjoy these coils. As I say, like I have the same exact coil. I think the same exact coil in here in my knee box right now. But my knee box is up to 30 watts, so that's a lot of power. This is self-adjusting, so it will adjust for whatever coil you have in here. It does have an 18.5 millimeter diameter for the tank and the battery, because they they sit flush together. And the length is 44 millimeters, excluding the tip and 510 threading. And this does have a max voltage output of 3.7 volts. So that's it for my first look review for this. Really simple, really quick. Just to give another option out there for smokers looking to make the switch, if you enjoy 
enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to this channel for more reviews. Check the description box below this video for important links like where to get my favorite things like e-liquids, mods, etc. You can follow me on almost any social media site like Instagram or Twitter or Facebook. I also have a second YouTube channel where I like to upload completely random videos. So if you want to see more of me that is not vaping related, you can check out that channel. All those links will be below. And one more thing before you go, if vaping is something you're passionate about, please consider joining Kasa.org and fight for your right to vape. So as always, I'm Tia Vapes and thank you so much for watching. Honestly though, that purple is to die for. And purple's never been like one of my favorite colors, but it's so pretty.